Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you and thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a rum that actually made my year-end video back in December, the best of 2020, as a runner-up. Uh, I had not given it a proper review, so that's what we're going to do today. This is the Dorley's 12-year-old Barbados rum. So it is coming from the Four Square Distillery. Uh, it is bottled at 80 proof. Retail pricing on this bottle, even with 12 years of maturation, is only about $28, $30, somewhere right around there. At least it is here in Texas, okay? Now, as far as what goes into the distillate, it's got a really nice color, and you can tell it being from Barbados, they are uh, very restrictive in what they can do to their rum, so there's no coloring here. Um, there's no added sugars or anything like that. Uh, but this is a combination of pot and column distilled rum. So you're going to get the, you should get a heavier, oilier mouthfeel from the pot distillate and a lot more aromatics and uh, lighter, uh, fruitier flavors probably coming off that column still. Okay. Now, once those two are blended together, they're matured for 12 years. 90% uh, of this uh, composition is in small American oak casks. 10% is in Madeira casks. Might be some port in there as well. I'm not positive on that, but I know there is some Madeira uh, finishing on the end. All right. Now, once you get through all that, it's pretty much only thing left to do is to nose it, taste it, see why it did make my list at the end of the year. And, you know, there was a really good rum in front of it. If you haven't seen that video, uh, be sure and go back. I'll probably put a link at the end uh, to check that out to see who the winner was because... It deserved it, but um, here we go with Dorley's 12, the runner-up. On the nose. Oh, nice. I give it a really nice little soft coat, because I like to really coat the inside of my Glencairn when I'm nosing it. Really releases all the aromatics. Here you get that, of course, you're going to get that little molasses. You're going to get that brown sugar. That's it's pretty much always a given. But there's a really nice balance of fruit and floral in this one. Fortunately, ooh, Madagascar vanilla beans feels really natural. The floral component, it's nothing too heavy. It's nothing that's going to remind you of soap, uh, nothing like that. It's almost, uh, wow, it's almost kind of exotic with the way the spices are hitting. You get that real nice floral element. There's chocolate tones toffee there's a strawberry essence that's what's really kind of getting me there's like strawberry a little bit of raspberry there's something what is that oh that's what it is little hint of pomegranate going on but you definitely get a lot of toffiness because there is some uh, roasted nut character going on. To some people, this might also remind them of just cola characteristic. There's some of that going on the nose here. It's very buttery, butterscotchy kind of getting as well. All right, let's go ahead and give it a taste, see what we think. Thing I'm kind of smiling about is how oily it is without being, um, you know, a lot of added sugar. So you're not getting that real um, sticky, sweet, nothing like that on the palate. It's it's full. It's oily. It washes all the flavors around the mouth. Goes down nice and easy. Finishes nice and clean. All right, let's judge it here on the second sip. And there's a good combination. Molasses, vanilla bean, a little bit of caramel sweetness. Some baking spices right up there on the front. Strawberry. A uh, little hint of cherry. A little raspberry, a little pomegranate going. Leading up to the ramp as the cinnamon's kind of warming things up to the mid-palate. Nuttiness starts to drop in right as soon as it crests on the mid-palate. You start getting that nuttiness, that chocolate, that toffee tone. Really starts to dominate on the back end. Still getting the molasses, still getting the vanilla bean. 
that little floral essence is still going. It's in the background, luckily, on the palette. So if you're sensitive to perfume or floral in your spirits, you don't have to worry about that here. It's actually in the background on the palette. Wood quality, the wood character in here, really nice. It's not overly oaked. You almost get a little hint of cedar uh, to go along with that tr traditional oak flavor. It feels exotic. It almost feels like cedar and mahogany to me on the back end. Oh, there's a um, clove and a, like a kind of like an herbal, like a root uh, component to it. So if you think like sarsaparilla, that type thing, uh, you get a little bit of that on the when I'm taking air in and I slowly breathe it out. That's where I'm picking that note up. A little bit of um, the star anise. There's a little bit of that in there as well with that clove. Mm. It's a little citrus, almost like a little spritz of orange oil in there early up front before it starts riding up on the cinnamon and you get hit with that toffee, that roasted nuts. Yeah, and it's uh, really nice the way everything kind of, it compounds, but nothing really drops and fades. It just keeps compounding on each other, and then you get on the back end, you're still getting all those characteristics flowing through the whole thing. Really nice, and uh, great quality rum at a great price, $30, that's incredible. So if you see the Dorley's 12 out there, do not be afraid to pick this up if you haven't already. Uh, I think it should be pretty much in everybody's bar. Um, I hope they keep doing a great job. You might see the early versions. The early versions had a screw top. Uh, I know a lot of people complained about that for a while. Now they're to the, to the court. Synthetic, but it's a court. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this spirit review. Of course, my patrons there on patreon.com slash liquorhound are going to get this review about two weeks before the launch on YouTube because that's what I'm doing. But I am trying to do a video every two weeks on YouTube. So we'll keep seeing uh, more and more content as we uh, develop and move along. Keep leaving all those great comments. Greatly appreciate that. Everyone have a great day and cheers.